Private Ernest Chafe lived on Casey Street in St. John's, Newfoundland, when he enlisted and joined the 1st Newfoundland Regiment to help fight the war to end all wars, World War I. And in the late fall of 1915, following a hasty retreat of Allied forces from the horrors of Suve Le Bay on the Gallipoli Peninsula, Ernest and his regiment embarked on a long and arduous journey across Europe to assist in efforts at the Somme, at Beaumont Hamel. Shortly before going over the top on that fateful day, Ernest wrote his final words in a touching letter to his mother here at home. The letter is on permanent display at the Royal Newfoundland Regiment Gallery here at the Rooms in St. John's. On a battlefield in sunny France, a hero brave did stand. He thought of friends he loved so well in dear old Newfoundland. When a vision Private Ernest Chafe, 1st Newfoundland Regiment, June 28, 1916, somewhere in France. My darling mother, as this is our battle eve, I thought I should write a few words of farewell in case anything should happen to me. Our regiment tomorrow will be engaged in one of the greatest battles of modern times. I hope and trust that our battalion won't be out very much and that we will keep the honour of our country. As for myself, I will do my very best. But if it is will that I go under, I will go with the full consciousness that I died in a good cause. I am in the best of health, and that is a good thing. A comrade here. I think the Germans will get it hot this time, and I feel sure that this battle will go a great way to end the war. I am only writing this, mother dear, in case I am knocked out. 
But if I survive the battle, I will tear it up. I will put it in my pocket enclosed with instructions as to who to send it to, etc. I am far from thinking, Mother dear, that I will be killed, for I am not built that way. But then, as we cannot see the future, fortunately it teaches us not to be too sure. There's a lovely girl who waits for me And thinks that I'll come home Go tell her that in Barring Park We never more shall roam. We never more shall So now, Mother dear, I will close with love to Father, Jack, Nell, Isabel, Dot, and all the bunch. Also all uncles and aunts and hoping to see your dear sweet face again in the near future, and with boundless faith in Christ's mercy and salvation. I remain ever your loving son, Ern. On a battlefield in sunny France, a boy from New 